Listen, nobody likes passwords. They're hard to remember, you forget them all the time, you have to ask companies to send you new ones, it's a total pain. But what if your face, your fingerprints, or even your eyes could replace passwords entirely? Using something called biometrics, a lot of companies are already doing this. Companies can identify you by your face, your fingerprint, your eyes, basically anything that you have that other people don't, it's unique to you, and that can let you get into your bank account, your computer, your phone, all without remembering a password at all. Lots of popular companies are trying biometrics. Apple and Samsung phones have fingerprint scanners that let you access your phone. Some Windows 10 computers can recognize your face so you don't have to enter in a password at all. Uh, and even some banks are experimenting with ATMs that scan your eye and let you get into your bank account. Isn't that all better than remembering Cupcake Star 82? But are biometrics really safer than passwords? Researchers recently found that an older HTC phone was storing fingerprint scans without any real protection at all, meaning any app on that phone could access your fingerprint scan and do whatever with it. That's not good. You can't change your fingerprint like you can change a password. If somebody happens to learn my Twitter password, I can go and change it really quickly, but I can't just, you know, burn off my thumbprint and get a new one. That would really hurt, and I don't want to do that. Ultimately, maybe biometrics shouldn't replace passwords entirely. Maybe the two should work in tandem, and you'll still have to remember a password, but your eyeball scan or your fingerprint can be an extra layer of security on top of that. So will biometrics create a whole new way of stealing your identity? It sounds really suspicious. If I can log into my computer with my face, what's stopping somebody from holding up a picture of my face and getting into my computer? Well, it turns out biometric software is pretty good at preventing that kind of trickery. And that means it's probably where we're headed for the future of security.